We are in the bee yard. It is late March, mid-March here, and I have a feeling swarm season is going to come early. Do you want your bees to swarm? I don't. Some people like their bees to swarm, and that's going to lower their mite count. But honestly, I think that is not a great practice. Why would you put so much time and effort to lose half of your bees when you could grow your bee population? You could expand your aviary. To me, it's like having a herd of cattle, it doubles in size, and then you let half of the cattle run away. It doesn't make sense to me. You want to keep your bees on your property because you have put in a lot of time and effort. So we are going to build something called a Russian Zion. Um, I've also heard it's called a bee pew, I believe. S-C-I-O-N. It's really, really easy to build. And what it is, it's a way to attract your bees. It's, it's a bee magnet, basically, a swarm magnet. And what it is, your bees will go to a temporary landing spot as soon as they swarm, and then they're gonna send out scouts to find their potential homes. That potential uh, temporary home or that landing spot might be 40 feet up in a tree and you can't get to your bees. So I'm gonna show you how to build this. It's really easy. I think every beekeeper should build this. Um, it's to catch your own bees before they leave your property when they swarm. So let's get to work. Project to make a Russian cyan. Um, again, this is a swarm magnet. It's to attract your bees after they swarm, but before they find a new home. So this is great for catching your own bees. Really, you just need a few basic supplies. You need a bucket with a lid. If you don't have a bucket with a lid, go out and buy one. As you can see, this is an old feed bucket. Works just fine. And this is what I did. I drilled a hole in the lid. This is some scrap flooring I have. Um, of course, you can use whatever you got. And I'm gonna put a piece of flooring on the lid, a piece of flooring underneath. That's just to give it more support because this is going to be hanging from a tree. So you don't want it to be swinging back and forth. It needs to have a little bit of weight to it. Um, if it doesn't have weight to it, the bees are gonna be less likely to think it's a good landing spot. Then I'm gonna take this eye hook I'm gonna screw it down through these three layers and then this scrap piece of wood I'm going to screw that onto my eye hook and eventually it's gonna look like that and this is what's going to be hanging in the, in, in, uh, the tree but there's one more crucial step but let's go ahead and get this together and this is important you want to make sure your whole setup is going to fit right in your bucket because when you catch your swarm you can use this bucket to keep your swarm from flying away and from stinging so you want to make your measurements so that everything fits inside the bucket so you can actually lower this right into a bucket and then you're done collecting your swarm so uh let's put this together and i'm going to show you the last really important step before i, I hang it up and it's a really important step that's going to help attract the bees to your Russian Zion. So we are almost done with our Russian Zion here. Um, really simple, really easy, made out of scrap parts for the most part. I had to buy this eye hook here. Um, this is important. There's lots of different ways to build these, but they all have this similar shape. But I've switched any design I've seen. I'm sure this has been done before, but um, I have it so that it goes right into this bucket so that when I do catch a swarm for my own hives probably, which I don't want them to swarm, but if they do, then I can catch them before they fly away. Now there's one more last crucial step. And hopefully you have saved some of your beeswax. So here's some old wax. I have some old propolis here, some newer wax here. So a, an old queen cell, look at this. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I might even keep that just to 
show some people. Um, so I'm gonna melt this down in my double boiler system here. And then I'm going to dip this piece of window screen in it. And then after that, I'm gonna lay it out very quickly and I'm gonna staple it to this bottom board here. So that's going to serve as the attractant for the bees to come to your Russian uh, Zion here. Um, so yeah, let's melt some wax. Sorry, them dogs are barking at a squirrel. I got this slum gum. Pretty gross, pretty gross. But this is gonna dry. And one of the reasons I chose uh, the window screen is because it's made out of metal and I can dip it in. I don't have to worry about the burlap catching fire, which that would not make my wife happy if I caught her kitchen on fire. So then I'm gonna staple. I'm gonna staple. And then I'm gonna spin. And then I'm gonna staple. I'm gonna staple. And then, that's it. Here should be my Russian Scion. Um, it's a bee magnet, it's a swarm magnet. And again, I'm also setting up swarm traps very soon, but this is a way for me to catch bees that might swarm from my own hives before they fly away. So this was really easy to make. Um, anyone can make this. This only really took me about 20 minutes as soon as I got all the supplies. I like that I use the window screen. It's a little more durable than the burlap. I'm gonna hang this up near my hives. I'm not gonna include that in this video. I got a lot to do today still. I gotta work on that burn pile back there. But my very next beekeeping video is going to talk more about how I'm using this Russian Zion and how I'm hoping it's gonna catch bees. I'm gonna include where I place it. So if you're following our channel, check out that next video. If not, subscribe and then check it out. This is an easy project. A lot of people don't have room if you're an urban beekeeper to set up swarm traps because swarm traps are going to catch other people's bees usually, but this is gonna catch your own bees. So until next time, keep on beekeeping.